If you're addicted to watching, reading, and living for those juicy fictional books to transform into a visual treat, well darling, you're in for an absolute feast with this video. From heart-fluttering romances to supernatural adventures, and from fantasy realms to gripping mysteries, K-Drama Buzz brings you these 15 K-Dramas that not only boast high IMDb ratings of more than 7.7%, but also promise to captivate your imagination. So gather your snacks, pour yourself a drink, and get ready to dive into a world where the pages of webtoons unfold into unforgettable on-screen experiences. Number 15 is See You in My 19th Life. <laughs> Starring Shin Hai Sun and An Bo Hyun, boasting a 7.7 .7 IMDb rating. Adapted from Lee Hai's webtoon, this fantasy drama follows a girl with a unique ability to remember all her past lives, a gift she despises. In her 18th life as Yoon Jo Won, she befriends Mun Seo Ha. In her 19th life as Ban Ji Yum, she reunites with Mun Seo Ha, fully aware of their past. Despite Mun Seo Ha's reluctance due to past heartbreaks, their lives intertwine, bringing unexpected twists and turns. Next up, we have Extraordinary You with a 7.8% rating. A delightful mix of humor, romance, and heartwarming moments adapted from Mu Ryo's webtoon, July Found by Chance. This drama is about Yoon Dan Oh played by Kim Hai Yoon, a 17-year-old with a wealthy background and a heart condition. When she discovers gaps in her memory, she realizes she's a character in a book called Secret, and her life is scripted by the artist, and she's only a supporting character in the cast. Dissatisfied, Dan Oh decides to forge her own destiny by changing the story's plot and finding her own true love together with a nameless student, number 13, played by Ro Woon. She bestows him the name Haru, and together they change their character's fate, unaware of the consequences that lie ahead. Number 13 is Hell is Other People, rated 7.8%. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, A gripping thriller adapted from the webtoon Strangers from Hell. Illustrated and written by Kim Young Ki, starring Lee Dong Wook and Im Si Wan. The drama follows Yoon Jung Woo, a man who moves to Seoul for a new job and starts living in a low end apartment. Nevertheless, Zhang Wu decides to put up with it for six months until he saves enough money to move out. However, he encounters strange events and becomes fearful of his neighbors, particularly the chilling dentist Seo Moon Jo. This critically psychological thriller also received the grand prize at the Cable TV Broadcasting Awards. At number 12, the recent drama The Story of Park's Marriage Contract scored 7.9% ratings. <laughs> Adapted from Kim Neo Yui's web novel of the same name, it stars rom com queen Lee Si Young and romance heartthrob Bae In Hyuk, centering around a contract marriage theme. In the 19th century, on her wedding night, Park Yeon Woo's husband reveals his long standing heart disease and dies. Before she can mourn her husband's death, she is kidnapped and thrown into a well. When she opens her eyes, she finds herself in present-day Seoul. The man who rescues her, Kang Tae-ha, strikingly resembles her deceased 19th century husband. Despite his own challenges, Kang Tae-ha proposes a marriage to fulfill his grandfather's wish, leading to a contract marriage that transcends time and space. At number 11 is Tomorrow, adapted from Lama's webtoon featuring Ro Woon, Kim Hee Sun, Lee So Hyuk, and Yoon Ji On. The drama follows Choi Jun Woong, a half human and half spirit, struggling to find employment until he joins a crisis management team of Grim Reapers led by Ku Ryan and Im Ryu Gu. Tasked with saving suicidal individuals, Jun Woong becomes a new team member, creating thrilling storylines. With an impressive 8% rating on IMDb, Tomorrow stands out as a must-watch drama. 
At number 10, we've got The Uncanny Counter with an 8% rating. And trust us, it's a roller coaster of action, feelings, and heartbreaks. Based on the webtoon Amazing Rumor by Jang Yi, this K-drama is an underrated gem. The stellar cast including Yeom Hai Ran snagging a Best Supporting Actress award at the 57th Baekseng Arts Awards is the cherry on top. The show centers around So Mun, played by Jo Byung Kyu, a wheelchair using teen, as he joins The Counters, a squad consisting of Du Hana, played by Kim Si Jung, and Yu Jo Sang, played the role of Ga Mo Tak, with supernatural powers fighting evil spirits that escape the afterlife. Brace yourself for unexpected plot twists and unraveling pasts because this drama has all the K drama tropes you never saw coming. Number 9 is True Beauty, a 2020 K-drama adaptation of Yonggi's webtoon featuring Moon Ga Young as Lim Ju Kyung. <laughs> With an 8% IMDb rating, it's among the best K-dramas based on webtoons. The plot revolves around Ju Kyung, a high school student bullied for her appearance who transforms into a beauty using her makeup skills and becomes popular in her new school. The drama starring Cha In Woo as Lee Su Ho and Huang In Yop as Han Seo Joon captivates with a compelling love triangle. It gained immense popularity, earning a nomination for an Indonesian Hallyu Fans Choice Awards and winning K-Drama of the Year. At number 8 is Mystic Pop-Up Bar, a 12-episode series based on the 2016 webtoon Sangapocha by Bei Hai Su. With 8% ratings, Mystic Pop-Up Bar featured some fascinating supernatural elements and captivated audiences on Netflix. Featuring Wang Jung Yoon, Yuk Sung Jae, and Choi Won Young, this drama follows three intertwined characters set in a rooftop bar that only opens at night. Managed by a mysterious food cart owner serving a sentence for past deeds, they help customers by visiting them in their dreams. The trio also includes a young man with a confession-inducing ability and the shop owner, her past lover. With a high rating of 8.1%, next is Business Proposal, adapted from the webtoon of the same name written by Hei Hua and illustrated by Narok. <laughs> Starring the hottest duo of An Hyo Sop and Kim Si Jung as leads. Business proposal revolves around Shin Ha Ri, a food researcher who helps her rich best friend Jin Young Seo, and disguises herself to go on a blind date pretending to be her. But her blind date turns out to be her CEO, K Tae Mu, who proposes to her for marriage. At number 6 is Perfect Marriage Revenge, a gripping revenge makjang with an impressive 8.1% rating. Surpassing viewer expectations. Adapted from the webtoon Essence of a Perfect Marriage, written by Young and Lee Byung Bae, the drama stars Sung Hoon and Jung Yo Min. Han Yi Ju, an unloved painter, suffers miserable treatment in her adopted wealthy family. She discovers her husband loves her stepsister. After a fatal accident, she wakes up in the past engaged to the same man. Determined to change her fate and seek revenge, she ends the engagement and approaches Seo Du Guk, heir to the Taja group, and her sister's desired man. Han Yi Ju proposes a contract marriage and surprisingly Seo Du Guk accepts. Number 5 is What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, adapted from Jung Kyun Yoon's 2013 novel, starring Park Min Young and Park Seo Joon. What's Wrong with Secretary Kim follows Lee Young Joon, a narcissistic but handsome vice chairman, and his capable secretary, Kim Mi Su. After nine years, Mi Su plans to leave her position. Young Joon realizes this and attempts to convince her to stay, leading to comic and romantic moments. Along the way, they fall in love but realize they knew each other all along. Famous for its steamy romances and impeccable comedic talent, the K drama earned a rating of 8.1%. 
and six awards, including recognition from Korean Drama Awards, APAN Star Awards, and annual Soompi Awards. On top four is Yumi Cells, which has an amazing rating of 8.2%. Featuring Kim Go Yoon and An Bo Hyun, the drama is based on Lee Dong Gun's webcomic, set in a world where humans are powered by cells that represent different emotions like love, violence, rationality, good, and bad. The story follows Kim Yumi's journey of healing after a breakup. Enter Gu Wung, an emotionally stunted game developer whose unexpected connection with Yumi sparks new life into their love cells. But will these cells be able to succeed? Number 3 is Itaewon Class with an 8.2% ratings. <laughs> Aired in 2020, Itaewon Class is based on a webtoon of the same name. Written by Gwang Jin, the story revolves around Park Se-ro Yi, played by Park Seo Joon, who after his father's tragic demise due to Jang Gyun Won embarks on a quest for justice, opening a small restaurant in Itaewon. Se-ro Yi aspires to build a business empire, facing betrayals and challenges. While the series remained faithful to the webtoon, criticisms arose regarding Jo Yi Seo's character, played by Kim Da Mi, suggesting a deviation from the original's independence and strength. However, the majority of viewers were content with the final result. At number 2, we have the hit series Moving, based on Kang Pool's webcomic of the same name. This supernatural drama follows three high school students, Kim Bong Seok, Jang Hui Su, and Lee Gang Hoon, along with their parents as they discover and cope with inherited superpowers. From flying to rapid injury recovery and uncanny speed, these students conceal their abilities while their parents strive to protect them, boasting an impressive cast including Han Hyo Ju, Zo In Sung, Ryu Seung Ryong, Lee Jung Ha, Go Yoon Jung, and Kim Do Hoon, moving captivates with its exploration of human abilities and family dynamics, with a high rating of 8.5% on IMDb. Finally, we have Death's Game, topping this list with a spectacular rating of a perfect 9%. Adapted from a webtoon titled I'll Die Soon, the story revolves around Choi Yi J, portrayed by the talented Seo In Guk who grew up in a poor family background but has a bright and kind personality. After seven years of failing to find a decent job, he is now full of desperation and despair. He decides to end his life but he meets death played by Park So Dam, and is given 13 chances to avoid death as punishment. If he fails to survive, he will be thrown into the abyss of hell to suffer for eternity. This gripping life transference drama not only dominated Netflix, but also ranked within the top 10 in 71 countries on Amazon Prime. And there you have it, this list is complete. But remember, in the world of K-dramas, rankings may change, but captivating stories are timeless. See you, until the next news.